What are carbohydrates? Carbohydrates are a component or part of many foods. Although certain foods get classified as a carbohydrate, they can also contain fat and protein. There are three types of carbohydrates, simple sugars, starches, and fibers. These three types of carbohydrates are placed into two groups or classifications based on their composition. Simple carbohydrates include the simple sugars, and the complex carbohydrates include the starches and the fibers. So it's a matter of simple versus complex. And it really is when you look at these two things, jelly beans and kidney beans, and consider that they are both classified as carbohydrates. And that's probably why carbohydrates are such a confusing category. So we'll look at simple carbohydrates first. And simple carbohydrates include the simple sugars, which are found in these types of foods. Sugar, white pasta, white flour, dairy, corn syrup, and white rice. Simple sugars tend to be high in calories, have no fiber, have a very fast rate of digestion, therefore they're quickly absorbed into the bloodstream and have a quick release of insulin. They provide an energy peak and then a crash, and they tend to be very high in the glycemic index. So we're going to take a look at the glycemic index and then come back to this chart because it's important to understand the glycemic index in understanding how carbohydrates affect your body. So the glycemic index, or the GI, is a scale which reveals how carbohydrates raise blood sugar levels. It's based on a standard of pure glucose having a GI, or a glycemic index, of 100. The GI reflects the relative blood sugar response to consuming 50 grams of carbohydrate of a given food eaten on an empty stomach by measuring the increase in blood sugar after 90 to 120 minutes. So an hour and a half to two hours after you eat 50 grams of carbohydrate of a given food on an empty stomach, what happens to your blood sugar? For example, carbohydrates that yield blood sugar levels which are 75% as high as those obtained after eating pure glucose have a GI of 75. So it's all relative to this glucose having a GI of 100. The lower the GI number, the healthier the carbohydrate is considered because a lower GI means a lower blood sugar and lower insulin release, and a lower blood sugar and lower release of insulin is healthier. For perspective, peanuts are on the beginning end of the glycemic index with a GI of 7. And a russet potato has a GI of 111, so it is even beyond glucose, higher than glucose, in terms of its effect on blood sugar levels. So that is the glycemic index. And now we'll take a look at the complex carbohydrates. I'm just going to cover up here on the left the simple so we can focus on the complex, and then we'll come back and look at the whole thing together. So the complex carbohydrates include starches and fibers. Starches are found in these foods, as well as many others, but a banana and a potato are both classified as starches. Starches can be low to high in calories, slow to fast rate of digestion, slowly to quickly absorbed into the bloodstream, have a slow to quick release of insulin, and be low to high in the glycemic index. So starches are very much in a range Whereas the simple sugars that we just saw were high on all of these factors, starches, depending on which one you're talking about, can be anywhere from low to high, slow to fast. Fibers are found in these types of foods. Legumes, beans, nuts, avocados, broccoli. Fiber, again, is not found exclusively in these foods. These foods contain other things as well, but they also contain fiber. And fiber itself has no digestion. It can't be digested by our body. It actually moves through our body. And so it has no calories, has no release of insulin, has a very slow rate of digestion. So it slows the overall rate of digestion of whatever you've eaten along with it. Therefore, it provides sustained energy. And in theory, it has a, a zero glycemic index. But again, there's no such thing as eating fiber by itself. So there's no such thing as zero for fiber on the glycemic index is just in theory, because there's no digestion, there would be no increase in blood sugar. 
So there's the whole picture. And again, these things are not mutually exclusive. You can find these things in one place. A food can contain all three of these things, in fact, like an apple. So we'll look at this apple. The inside of the apple starts as starch, but as it ripens, it converts to increasingly simple sugar. So right there are two types of carbohydrates. And the outside of the apple is fiber, which provides the structure. There is a type of fiber on the inside as well, but the point here is that all three of these can exist in one item. They're not mutually exclusive. So what are the three types of carbohydrates? And we'll just look at it here in a different format. So the three carbohydrate types, simple sugars, starches, and fibers. The definition, a simple sugar is the most basic unit of carbohydrates. It's one molecule or two molecules joined together. Starches are three or more simple sugars joined together. And fibers are indigestible plant material, and there are two types, soluble and insoluble. Saccharide is from the Greek word for sugar. Simple sugars include monosaccharides and disaccharides. Mono means one and di means two. Starches include polysaccharides and poly means many. So in this case, polysaccharides means many sugars. Fibers, it's not applicable because fibers do not have any sugars. Simple versus complex carbohydrates. The simple sugars are simple carbohydrates and the starches and fibers are classified as complex carbohydrates. The digestion rate and insulin release for simple sugars is fast rate of digestion and a quick release of insulin. The starches, if you recall, are in a range of slow to fast, slow to quick, depending on what item we're talking about. And fibers have no digestion. They cannot be broken down by digestive enzymes, so there's no release of insulin. Found in these foods, simple sugars are in dairy products, refined grains, sugar and candy, beer, most fruits, syrups, and high fructose corn syrup. Starches are found in fruits like bananas, squash, and pumpkins, legumes, grains, and vegetables like potatoes, yams, carrots, turnips, and corn. Fibers are found in these foods in whole grains, and whole grains include the bran. That is actually where the fiber lives or resides in the whole grain, is in the bran. Fiber is also found in fruits, vegetables, legumes, and nuts. Three food items all derive from corn. So each is one of the three types of carbohydrates. So these three things all come from corn. And the simple sugars, the candy corn, is made from corn syrup. Starches, the refined corn and the corn chips, and fiber, in the whole corn and the corn kernels. So here's a question for you. Which of the following things is classified as a carbohydrate? Apple, broccoli, candy, and a soft drink. All of the above or none of the above? You were right, it's all of the above. When you look at these four incredibly different food items, it's amazing to consider that they're all classified as carbohydrates, but that is why carbohydrates is such a confusing category. But hopefully it's a little bit clearer to you now.